What is the main challenge in developing the next generation of batteries? So, so I don't think that there is one main challenge. I think that's one of the interesting things about where we are. So, I mean, if you're in mainstream automotive, then your challenge is to have the best sort of volumetric energy that you can get at a reasonable price and a reasonable number of cycles. If you're in aerospace, then you're looking for a completely different set of things. You're looking for very good sort of gravimetric energy, very high levels of power and a, and a long cycle life. If you're looking for stationary energy storage, then it's probably completely different again. You really don't care about what the gravimetric or volumetric uh, uh, energy densities are. You just care about what is your installed life going to be, how efficient and how cost effective is this battery for you. And, and then if you enter into our sphere where we're dealing with high performance vehicles, then typically what we're looking for is very high energy capability very high power capability and a reasonable cycle life and we're probably not quite as worried about price. I think it's a different depending on which area you look at.